there's a whole lot of transfers for me to get through. What's going on guys, it's JSGC here. Uh, we're here for the Man City transfer deadline day update. Some deals have been completed, some deals are close to being completed, some rumours flying around, uh, there's some outgoings, there's no new contract information, uh, so I'll get on with that in, in just a moment. Uh, we are aiming for 500 subscribers, so if you're enjoying the Man City and football content, because I've got lots of videos uploading daily, uh, then if you would, then subscribe, that'd be great for enjoying the content, stay in the loop, be notified, uh, you know, we're in for 500 subscribers, so hopefully we can hit that soon, uh, also got a gaming channel, and my partner channel, which is run by my brother, doing mixology drinks, uh, the link to their channels in the description below, you can go check them out, like the videos, and subscribe to their channels, uh, then that would be fantastic, also, I'm not going live, I did go live on the last transfer deadline day, however, with City playing tonight, yes, we're getting involved in transfers and we are playing tonight against West Brom. Uh, and also with uh, me being at work and everything, uh, there's just simply no time for me to be able to go live. So uh, the biggest way to stay in the loop is to watch this video. Uh, stay tuned for tomorrow's video where I'll do a summary. Or if you want to be kept in the loop, moment by moment, update by update, then check out my Twitter. Now my Twitter isn't source information. I'm not making up rumours or anything. I'm just going to be retweeting all of the other source information where everyone's picking up their information from. So you can stay up to date with what's happening from, with Man City through this whole day. It's like a soap opera for a whole day for football fans. This It's just hectic. Absolutely frantic. You know, this is excitement at its highest peak transfer deadline day. So you want to be kept in the loop at JSGC, all in block capitals 171. Check me out on Twitter. Follow me on there. Kept be kept into the loop then you can watch tomorrow's video for a summary with all that being said and done let's get on with the transfer update as you will have seen from my video yesterday Laporte not Laporte Laporte now his name is pronounced Emeric Laporte that's how his name is pronounced I think correct me in the comments if I'm wrong but there's no E it sounds better with an E in my opinion Laporte he sounds better than Laporte but his name is Laporte so we'll call him Laporte so he's a Man City player 57 million pound release cause has been paid in response, Athletic Bilbao have signed Inigo Martinez from Real Sociedad. Now, we were linked with Martinez, hence I've mentioned that. So, he's a replacement. Obviously, you've got to sign Basque region players when you play in the Basque region. So, that fits in nicely for them. City have cooled their interest in Johnny Evans. Doesn't mean we're not going to go back in for a centre-back in the summer. So, we might have all this reignite again in the summer, particularly if Vincent Company leaves. But I don't think uh, he will, certainly not in this window. So, for now, centre-backs, we're done. Laporte, welcome to Man City. Does mean a Darby Oyo has been made available for loan. We also may see Mangal Ali. We'll get to that when I do the outgoing. City have signed a player. Netherlands under-20 centre-back Philippe Sandler from P.E.C. Zwall, I think they're pronounced. I think, I'm fairly sure that's how it's pronounced. Uh, that deal's done. He's gone back on loan to P.E.C. So, good luck, Philippe. Maybe we'll see what you can do uh, next season in pre-season, maybe in the EDS, maybe even the first team, or maybe out on loan, which is the most likely destination. DiMarzio, very reliable reporter recently from Sky Italia. He's saying that Man City are working on a deal for Fred and talks are at an advanced stage. Now, however, I've seen various reports saying that this has been put on the back burn. Man City have put this to the back of their list. I do believe this is due to Man City wanting a pre transfer agreement like i said before in previous videos like cater is at liverpool playing for leipzig at the moment man city want that kind of deal they could still sign him today and loan him i doubt it they could sign him and play him in the squad again i doubt it i think man city will leave this probably through the months uh maybe even like a gundavan situation where they have all the contracts and everything signed up and met and he just needs to turn up in June slash July. And he'll be there as a Man City player. They'll be working on this deal throughout the season. Not today, I would not think. I could be wrong. We will see. I will monitor the situation today. Another signing, Eric Palmer Brown. He is signed for Man City from Sporting Kansas City. Over in the United States. A United States under 20 international. He's not played fully capped yet for the USA. He's a centre-back. He has been loaned. Oh, man, I hate this pronunciation. KV Kortrijk in Belgium. Ah, it's probably miles away. That's my best attempt at it, though. He's gone over to Belgium for the season again. Another signing. <laughs> We've been busy. We've also signed <laughs> Jack Harrison. Now, you may have already heard of this one. He has signed for Middlesbrough on loan. Man City have signed him from New York City FC. So he's already in the City footballing group, the CFG. He's already in there. So he signed for Man City £4 million, three and a half year deal. He's gone immediately out on loan to 
uh, Middlesbrough, so he's a centre midfielder, so hopefully we might see more of him, uh, obviously in the Championship, they'll be on TV, be able to track his progress, see how he does, he might be the next Moy, I doubt we'll see any of these players ever in a City top, I would be surprised, I think Man City are signing these players so they can sell them uh, for profit or help out the other teams in the City footballing group. Could be wrong, but that's what I think. Now, last news, and it's the biggest news, in my opinion. Alan Nixon. Now, he's not the most reliable journalist. He's right on some occasions. He's not right on others. On Twitter, he broke news yesterday that Man City were interested in signing Riyad Mahrez of Leicester. The winger, Algerian. Fantastic. Good cross. Good left foot on him. Now, he has handed in a transfer request at Leicester. He said he wanted to stay this season in, after talks in the summer. If an offer came in, he'd want to leave. Well, Man City have put in three. Three offers have come in from Man City recently. Uh, Leicester are going to reject them. They're pondering on the third bid, £55 million that was made yesterday, apparently, after bids of around £40 and then £50 million were made. Leicester, some newspapers are reporting they want around £60 million. Others are reporting they want as much as £100 million pounds for him to sign for Manchester City, they want him to pay up, they want them to break their transfer record which was broke yesterday with signing Laporte, so we're going to be monitoring that one, it's a deal that will be hard to get over the line, he's been left out of Leicester's squad for tonight's game, uh, He want, Man City want him in Manchester, they want to complete the deal, they need to agree a fee, apparently the fees are miles away but they are considering the £55 million, maybe there's room for negotiations, we may see Mares. Now this doesn't mean that I want us to sign Mares. I think we've got players like Bernardo Silva, Brian Diaz, Phil Foden that are coming back that could easily sit in place for Leroy Sane. My concern is if Raheem Sterling gets an injury and Leroy Sane doesn't end up really getting into gear by the time he comes back, which will probably be after the international break, you'd think, now in March, which leaves just the final quarter of the season, we're looking a bit bare over on the wings. I mean, we don't want to be relying upon Brian Diaz and Phil Foden to get us through four competitions. You do not want that. So uh, it makes sense to sign players so I don't have to sign them in the summer, as Pep says. Will we do that? Possibly. This Mahrez deal, I'd say, is unlikely just due to the sheer nature of how big the transfer will be. I don't think it can possibly be completed in around 24 hours. I could be wrong. I'll keep an eye on it. Any developments, like I said, Twitter, I'll be right on it. It's one that's getting everyone excited and everyone's talking about it. Man City are teasing it a little bit on their Twitter as well. Uh, so we'll have to see about that one. So it could be Fred, could be Mahrez. We might be seeing a signing. Pep said we'll sign one player, maybe another. So it is, we're in the market for someone who, uh, I don't know. So we might see that on a video tomorrow. So check that one out. Now, like I said before, no contracts. Uh, as you'd expect, the only contracts that will be getting signed are incomings and outgoing signing out on loan or permanently. So that moves us nicely onto the outs. First up, Ashley Smith-Brown. He has joined Oxford on loan until the end of the season. Good luck, Ashley, with your loan. That is signed, sealed. And confirmed, like I said before, Adara Bioyo has been made available for loan. Pep wants him out to get more game time. Uh, apparently, Premier League and Championship clubs are interested in him. Apparently, Sheffield Wednesday are leading the chase for his signature. I imagine an abundance of Championship clubs, lower Premier League clubs are chasing his signature. I think it's most important that we loan him to a club that are going to play him game after game so he does get the game time that is needed so we can see how good Toshin Adara Bioyo really is. So I think Man City have to be sensible with that loan move. I don't think they'll be looking for much wage from it. I could be wrong. I doubt money's the motivation here. More about game time. And last but not least, Eloquim Mangala. <laughs> Slotted in very nicely. Pep's been praising him, saying he did so well in the match against Tottenham. Man marking Harry Kane, he did so well. In my opinion, in the Champions League quarter-final, when he man marked Ibrimovic out of the game, he could man mark players like Cavani. All these players in common are big, tall, powerful, but not quick which is what Mangala is suited to. Now, Newcastle made an inquiry. They wanted him. Man City wanted him on a permanent transfer. They're being priced out of that. They're interested in a loan. West Ham, I imagine, probably interested in a loan too. Valencia, probably interested in a loan too, maybe with a buy option at the end of the season. Man City want money. Everton want to sign him too. Everton, the front runners, apparently they're confident of signing him today. I don't know if that's permanent or on loan. We will have to wait and see. So it's an interesting situation regarding Mangala, but I don't expect Mangala to be a Man City player, nor Dara Bioyo, come 11 o'clock tonight. So we'll have to wait and see. Like I said, Twitter, it's in the description below. You can check that out. I'll keep you all up to date with the retweets and the tweets. So do check that out if you want to be kept in the loop with all that's happening on deadline day because it is exciting. Video up tomorrow summarising as well as the review 
for the Man City West Brom game, which is tonight, which everyone seems to have forgotten about, and it is kind of a must win game for both sides. West Brom now bottom of the league. So I'll see you for that. So it's been JSGC. Hope you all enjoy your deadline day. I know I will. I'm going to be extra busy editing videos, tweeting, checking out everything. It's a tiring day, but I love the day. So I'll see you all there. So it's been JSGC. Peace. Ciao for now.